What's poppin' guys? Gar Champion here, and this is the second video in my Greatest of Paldea series. Last video, we featured Speed, and then this video, we are featuring Special Attack. So, something I missed in my last video is that I wanted to do an average of my team that I brought. So for Speed, we average 126 Speed. And uh, so for our special attackers here in this video, we averaged a whopping 131 special attacks at. That's freaking nuts, man. Um, so let's go over how I made these teams. First off, Beldae and Pokemon only. So no pre-existing Pokemon. Secondly, we get one Runation, one Paradox per team. No exceptions. Then last and foremost, each Pokemon can only be featured once in this six video series. There are a few Pokemon who excelled more than others and had top six stats in multiple areas. So, versus featuring them in multiple videos, we're just going to feature them in one. So, hopefully you guys like this type of content. Um, I'm definitely having fun with this. And, uh, yeah guys, have a wonderful day. Peace. So looking at this person's team, they don't really have a way to deal with our hazards. So that is going to be our main objective. Is to set up some nice stealth rock as a lot of their hard hitting Pokemon take 25%. So we see the Breloom and knowing that I expect a Spore and the thing to have Focus Sash. So we decide to Sludge Wave, take it down to its Sash as we get put to sleep. So turn one went as predicted. And uh, it's kind of funny how quick the loaded dice set on this thing kind of fell off. Um, definitely a victim of new toy syndrome. So we try to desperately wake up as we die to a bulldoze, but it is not with vain because we do get up toxic spots with toxic debris. So here I decide to go Iron Moth, planning on Grass Terroring because if for some weird reason he wants to stay in because he sees we got a special attack boost anticipating an agility which we're not going to um just trying to think ahead for mind games you know so he withdraws as you go for a grass tarot fiery dance as this cute adorable thing comes in and the nice thing about this is that we are no longer four times weak to ground so that's pretty nice. So we get off the fiery dance here. It, it does a solid chunk. It does a solid chunk. And uh, so here I'm just trying to see if Terra Blast does more than fiery dance. And they do about the same as he yawns us, uh, which is a problem because this thing can toxic stall our entire team. And so we just have to go for a freaking Hail Mary fiery dance, risk the sleep. As we actually connect and get the kill on that stupid, adorable threat of a Pokemon. So, the only problem is now that we are asleep. Are, not our. Alright, so, the Goldfish comes in and uh, trying to evaluate the situation. I decide, you know what, screw it. Iron Moth is just going to stay in and he's going to die. So we're going to hit him with a uh, Sludge Wave. But we are asleep, so we don't wake up. As he Flame Charges, which is... Uh, we didn't die that turn. So he Flame Charges again. Doesn't kill us. And luckily this turn we wake up and bop him with a very powerful Sludge Wave. As we get some very solid chip on him. Before we actually decide to sack him. So Mothy, Mothy Boy goes down. And uh, now we can go into the goldfish of our own. Now, I don't know how the Beads of Ruin works. If uh, all special defense is lowered by like two stages now. But either way, 
we're still going to Dark Pulse. And the nice thing about this is with his three speed boosts, we can hide the fact that we have a Choice Scarf, which is going to be very useful later. So after exchanging some blows to each other, um, I proved that my Goldfish is better than his as his goes down. And so back in comes the Breloom, expecting a Mach Punch. I kind of realized that Goldengo is going to be the absolute perfect switch in because we are immune to fighting type attacks. We are immune to his Spore with good as gold. And we have an Air Balloon, so he can't bulldoze us either. So, yes, that was pretty nice. And uh, so here we decide to go for the most free play with Substitute, which will basically give us an advantage here next turn on whatever he decides he wants to switch in on. Turns out it's the Hydreigon. So we get a nice little Substitute, um, knowing that thing outspeeds us. And we just decide to make it rain. And the only thing that could stop me from making it raining is a flinch. And we don't flinch. He pops our air balloon. And then uh, we decide to make it rain on the three-headed dragon. And uh, so yeah, here we are kind of forced to go into our assault vest, our Believer. As we tank that hit pretty nice, we get some grassy train up. So we basically have Assault Vest and Leftovers, which is pretty nice. And so knowing we can take another attack, he switches out and goes into the Breloom. As we yell, leave a like on this video! As Breloom dies from the freaking pressure of our self-promotion. And so back comes in the Hydreigon. And, uh... Just like in a previous video, we must believe in our Believer. You must believe in the our Believer, guys. So this thing Terra fires, hits us with the flamethrower, and our Believer lives. And we return by yelling, Leave a sub! If you aren't already! And again, their Pokemon dies to the pressure of our self-promotion. And so, here comes this little, uh, frozen cat. And, uh, we don't really have a nice switch in for this one. So, between all this, uh, the faith and self-promoting, we decide to sack him because it was very exhausting. So now, we can, uh, safely go into our Chiyu here. Because, um... He has two Pokemon weak to fire moves, basically. So he has no switches whatsoever. And uh, we can really get a taste of what this item is if he does have a Choice Scarf. As he switches out, and uh, that poor, poor Scizor just gets burnt to a crisp. Especially because we crit. <laughs> I don't think the crit mattered there. I really don't think it did. So we get a nice little health back. We are over half now. Sends in his uh, his last and final Pokemon, weakening all of our defenses. And so here, I decide to set Golden Go. Just, I, I have a hunch that this thing is choiced. And so I just wanted to be safe, because I wasn't really familiar with this thing's moveset, as Golden Go goes down to a crunch. Nothing like bite and metal, right? Yum. So here, we still have Disguised our choice guard, luckily. So here we just go for a safe flamethrower and we clench the victory. So our goldfish definitely was better than theirs and their entire team as well. 